Hi my dear kids in this video we are going to see chapter 2 plans from MTG workbook of class 1 NSO so there are different types of plants they are trees tall and strong plants shrubs small and bushy plants herbs plants that are small and have soft stems climbers plants that need support to grow creepers plants that grow along the ground so plants are important for us because we get food like cereals pulses spices fruits vegetables tea coffee sugar oil wood etc from them so types of fruits on the basis of number of seeds one seeded fruit example mango plum lychee few seeded fruit orange apple many seeded fruit example watermelon and papaya so plant need air water and sunlight to grow so there are different parts of a plant they are leaf it makes food for the plant stem it transport water and food to all parts of a plant flower it grows into fruit seed it produces new plant when it is sown fruit example apple peach and orange root it fixes the plant firmly in the soil and also it absorb water from soil and hold the plant in the soil so let's see the practice questions first one which of the following activities should you do okay should you do option a pluck flowers or leaves when you go to a park no we should not do this one b write on the trunk of trees no c grow more and more plants yes d throw stones at the fruits on trees no so option c we should do grow more and more plants so option c is the correct answer second one we eat the seeds of dash so option a banana b corn c mango d beetroot so we eat the seeds of corn so option b is the correct answer okay option b third one ruby's father is a farmer she says that he grows a crop that is used for obtaining oil so her father grows option a mustard b spinach c money plant so we know mustard oil is obtained from mustard seed so her father grows option a mustard so option a is the correct answer fourth one ravi saw a plant in his garden which had a beautiful flowers when he tried to pluck a flower his finger was pricked the plant could be dash so we know some plants have thorns for their protection okay so rose we know rose plant has thorns so option c rose is the correct answer fifth one select the odd one out on the basis of number of seeds present in it so option a watermelon b papaya c kiwi d lychee so we know pop watermelon papaya and then kiwi are multi seeded fruit while lychee is a single seeded fruit so the odd one out is option d so option d is the correct answer okay sixth one dash is a food item that we get from stem of a plant option a is sugar b wheat c honey d black pepper so sugar is made from sugar cane juice which is obtained from the stem of a sugar cane plant so option a is the correct answer okay option a seventh one dash is an example of pulses so we know option a rice it is a cereal b okra it is a vegetable c clove it is a spice and then option d chickpea which is a pulses so option d is the correct answer okay option d eighth one match the column 1 with column 2 and select the correct option so wheat wheat is obtained from seed so a4 so either option c or d will be the correct answer 
spinach spinach is leaf so b2 so option c is the correct answer radish it is a root and then orange is a fruit so a4 b2 c3 and d1 so option c is the correct answer ninth one study the given figure showing a group of edible seeds of plants select the correct option regarding it so please pause the video and please check the given venn diagram so plant seeds cereals and pulses so we know we eat seeds of some plants the dry seeds of some plants are called food grains and cereals and pulses are called food grains the seeds of wheat barley maize and rice plants are cereals so option a is correct one and then seeds of plant is such as pea gram beans or pulses so option b also correct answer so both option a and b option d is the correct answer okay both option a and b in to one i begin chindrala's carriage i am a dash fill up the blanks with the correct group of alphabets so we know i am a pumpkin p u m p k i n so option d is the correct answer okay option d 11th one which of the following statement is incorrect so we need to select the incorrect statement option a wheat and rice or cereals it is the correct one b dolls and grams or pulses yes it is also correct one c green pea and onion or vegetables yes it is also correct statement mango has many seeds no mango is a one seeded fruit so option d is the incorrect statement so option d is the correct answer 12th one the given figure shows a plant with some of its parts labeled as a b and c select the correct option regarding it so in the figure a is leaf which prepare its own food and b is a stem which transport water and minerals from soil to different parts of the plant and c is the root it absorb water and minerals from soil and hold the plant firmly in the soil so option a in the absence of a that is leaf plant will die due to lack of food as it will not be formed it is the correct statement option b in the absence of b that is stem plant will die due to lack of water as it will not be absorbed it is incorrect because here water is not absorbed it will transport water to different parts of the plant next is c in the absence of c that is root plant will die due to unavailability of food as it cannot be transported to all other parts it is also incorrect okay so option yes option a is the correct answer next 13th arrange the following stages in the correct order in which they occur so please pause the video and please check the picture so 1 2 3 and then 4 so r p q and s yes. yes option b is the correct answer okay option b 14th they have encircled odd members in the following plant groups based on their type but made one mistake find the group with mistake so option a neem mango mustard coconut so here neem mango and coconut are trees mustard is a herb so it is correctly circled b groundnut coconut mustard and rice here also coconut is a tree while the others are herbs so here also correctly encircled odd members c rose hibiscus tulsi watermelon so rose hibiscus and tulsi are shrubs while watermelon is a creeper so here the odd member is wrongly encircled d coriander spinach pumpkin mint so here also odd member is correctly encircled 
so option c is the correct answer okay option c 15th match the columns and select the correct option cotton which is used to make cloth so a3 a3 means either option a or d will be the correct answer jute it is used to make bag so b2 so option a is the correct answer sugar can it is used to make sugar so a3 b2 c1 option a is the correct answer next achiever section 16th what is the function of a plant part labeled as x so please check the given picture the plant shown here is a climber which is climbing up a wooden pole so the structure labeled as x represents special climbing route which help the plant to, to climb to a support and grow up to reach for more sunlight okay so option a it makes food for the plant no b it takes in water from the soil no c it help the plant in storing excess food no it helps the plant to reach for more sunlight so option d is the correct answer okay option d 17th study the diagram of the plant as shown the scissors in the diagram show four possible places to cut the plant leaf x will not get water from the root if the cut is made at dash so we know stem will transport water and minerals from root to two different parts of the plant so leaf x will not get water from the root if the cut is made at b okay so option b is the correct answer okay option b 18th study the given flow chart and select the correct option to fill empty spaces d e and f so please check the given flow chart so d is a shrub so we know hibiscus is a shrub rose is a shrub so option d grape is a climber so option d is incorrect next e is a climber so we know here pumpkin is a creeper and then p is a climber and then grape vine is a climber so option a is also incorrect next f is a creeper so out of this spinach is herb so pumpkin is a creeper so option c is the correct answer d is a rose e is grape vine and then f is pumpkin option c 19th Reshmi has pomegranate tree in the backyard of her home. One day, her elder brother plucked almost all flowers from the tree. This will result in dash. So, we know flowers will grow into fruit. So, if all the flowers of a tree are plucked, there would be no fruits. Okay, there would be no fruits. So, this will result in reduced number of pomegranate fruits option b is the correct answer okay option b next the last question 20 refer to the given diagram and select the option that correctly identifies the plant x so x is a plant which has medicinal value provides textile fibers and then provides oil so option a neem it has medicinal value as well as it will provides oil but it doesn't provides textile fiber so sunflower also it provides oil but it doesn't provide textile fiber so coconut okay coconut has medicinal value and also it provides oil and also it provides textile fiber so option d coconut is the correct answer Thank you my dear kids for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. In our next video, we are going to see chapter 3 animals. Please check the playlist for more videos. Thank you.